One of the important elements in anesthesiology and intensive care unit is represented by magnesium. So let's discuss this right now. What are indications for magnesium? So different states, conditions and symptoms which are related to hypomagnesemia are represented to indications for administration of magnesium. Hypomagnesemia or low concentration less than 1.8 uh, milligram per deciliter. Hypomagnesemia results as uh, inadequate intake per oral of the different sources of magnesium, decreased absorption through the gastrointestinal tract or decreased renal absorption. Risk factors for hypomagnesemia include thus with gastrointestinal disease, chronic diarrhea, proton pump inhibitor therapy, alcohol use disorder and diuretic use. It is common to see hypomagnesemia along with low levels of other electrolytes such as hypokalemia and hypocalcemia. In patients with refractory hypokalemia or hypocalcemia, hypomagnesemia may be the reason why they are also low. It is difficult to correct these electrolyte imbalances without first treating the magnesium imbalance or low level. Symptoms of uh, low magnesium correlate with the development of concurrent hypocalcemia and the signs include Trousseau and Hostic signs, hyperreflexia, tremor, muscle fasciculations and others like nausea, vomiting, lethargy, weakness. An important one is generalized tonic-clonic seizure. Also many conditions can occur like eclampsia or severe preeclampsia, constipation, preterm labor, as the tocolytic is indicated, arrhythmias like torsades de pointis, digoxin associated arrhythmias, ventricular tachycardia, and ventricular fibrillation. In asthma, it is recommended uh, because it allows bronchial smooth muscle to relaxate. In migraines, it is uh, observed that reduce the incidence of migraine crisis. Let's talk about normal range and administration doses of the magnesium. Normal range of blood magnesium is 1.8 to 2.2 mg per deciliter. And less than this level is represented as hypomagnesemia. For example, in mild to severe uh, forms, you can administer 1 gram intramuscular administration every 6 hours. Four doses. So, as a sum, it will be 4 gram per day in a mild form. In a severe, you can administer 4 to 8 gram at less, uh, at less than 1 gram per hour and less than 4 gram over 4 to 5 minutes. Uh, this one is administered intravenously for uh, quick access to the blood and regulates the level or equilibrates the level. One vial of 5 ml of the magnesium, for example, 25% contain 1.25 gram of magnesium. In times that 5 ml of 50% will contain 2.5 gram. If you want to have 1 gram of, of magnesium, you should administer 4 ml of 25% of or 2 ml of 2 ml of 50% magnesium concentration to have 1 gram or 4 to have 2 grams. It is indicated especially in preterm labor as, and used as a tocolytic to stop preterm labor. Loading dose is represented at 4 to 6 gram over intravenously over 20 minutes and maintenance 2 to 4 gram per hour intravenously for 12 to 24 hours. So it is uh, administered through the infusion pump usually. Mechanism of action. As other electrolytes, magnesium role in the body is diverse and complex. The mechanism of action of magnesium is dependent on which organ system is involved. As you know, magnesium is the fourth most common cation in the body. The majority of magnesium is intracellular and it is the second most common intracellular cation following potassium. 
Magnesium plays a vital role in over 300 reactions involving metabolism. It is involved in uh, different uh, actions and differ uh, different receptors like hormone receptor binding, muscle contraction, neural activity, neurotransmitter release, vasomotor tone, and even cardiac excitability. It is necessary for the active transport of potassium and calcium across the cell membrane. And ATP even is dependent on magnesium for a proper functioning. What are the effects of magnesium at different organ systems? For example, on gastrointestinal, magnesium promotes defecation via osmotic retention of fluids. On cardiovascular, uh, magnesium acts as a natural calcium channel blocker. And it is a cofactor of the potassium sodium uh, ATP pump. And magnesium also helps control atrioventricular node conduction. On neurological system or on central nervous system, it producing anticonvulsant effect. At neuromuscular junction, it inhibits the release of acetylcholine, thus blocking peripheral neuromuscular transmission. A reproductive system, it is used as a tocolytic during preterm labor, as magnesium stimulates calcium reuptake by the sarcoplasmic reticulum, which promotes relaxation of muscle and vaso dilation muscle skeletal system magnesium is considered a cofactor of the parathyroid hormone synthesis with hypomagnesemia concurrent hypoparathyroidism will ensue and as a result uh, will lead to osteopenia and osteoporosis respiratory system administ magnesium administration can cause bronchial smooth muscle relaxation the cause of smooth muscle relaxation is unclear but it is known also that it inhibits uh, calcium, histamine, and acetylcholine release. There also may be a synergistic effect with uh, concurrent use of beta agonists. Or, generally speaking, uh, dilatation or relaxation of the smooth muscle. Uh, two words about homeost homeostasis of magnesium which is maintained by intestine, bone, and kidney, mostly. 50% of the magnesium is located within the bone, 25 within the muscle, and the remainder in the soft tissue, serum, and red blood cells. Like other electrolytes, it can be classified as ionized, protein-bound, or bound to anyones. And only ionized magnesium is uh, biologically or most biologically active. Administration of the magnesium can occur in various ways. Dietary intake is a main source of magnesium for a healthy individuals, and the recommended daily intake varies with gender and age. Green leafy vegetables, fish, legumes, and whole grains are good sources of magnesium. If they are Unaccessible for you, you can get magnesium orally, intravenously, or intramuscular. Treatment can be with oral magnesium, call it magnesium sulfate, or intravenously. Magnesium sulfate is given for severe hypomagnesemia or those who are not able to tolerate uh, oral therapy. Important to know that patients with Alcohol use disorder are treated empirically to avoid hypomagnesemia. For patients with renal insufficiency, an increase in dose must be made to adjust for the increase in renal loss. What are side effects of uh, hypermagnesemia? Very rare, firstly to know, but can occur with flushing, hypotension, vasodilation, and hypermagnesemia. Many studies uh, demonstrated that even a high level of magnesium do not produce an evident uh, symptoms. For contraindications, factor to consider, factors to consider are, are renal function, pregnancy, and neuromuscular disease. And there are no contraindications for magnesium supplements with other prescriptions. However, various drugs 
increase the, or decrease the concentration of azer magnesium or prescribing drugs. For uh, patients with myasthenia gravis, important to note that magnesium inhibits the release of acetylcholine, which can cause deterioration of the uh, patient. Toxicity of hypermagnesemia. Magnesium, a level greater than 2.6, of course, as this one is considered hypermagnesemia. Milligram per deciliter. So it is a potential effect of administration of magnesium. If too much magnesium is administered and too quickly, of course, we are talking about level in the blood and hypermagnesemia may ensue. Symptoms include vasodilation, causing flushing, hypotension, hyperreflexia, and respiratory depression, with a magnesium concentration of above 6 mg per deciliter. EKG uh, changes may uh, can include PR segment prolongation, widening of the QRS, and even a picket T waves. Cardiac arrest occur whenever levels are above 50, 15 mg per deciliter. But hypermagnesemia is, is less common than, than hypomagnesemia. Only the one condition of hypermagnesemia often encountered is too rapid administration of high doses of magnesium. It can also occur in, in overuse of magnesium containing laxatives and antacids. Treatment for hypermagnesemia includes calcium gluconate because it is an uh, antidote for magnesium or any type of calcium, calcium gluconate or calcium hydroxide. It is important to maintain circulatory and respiratory support for those with severe hypermagnesemia. Intravenous for semid is a diuretic of cho choice as it increases magnesium excretion. Thank you very much, guys. If you have any questions, please write them down. Thank you very much and have a good time.